What's up, my energies? Welcome back. And as always, salute to you, your inner god or goddess, and your gangster. This is probably going to be my quickest video. Um, very impromptu. Did not plan this today. But I just want to give you guys a quick, what, three-week update. Um, I am still on my soft food diet. It's been going pretty well. Um, I take three or four bites of something, and I'm not really hungry after that. I'm not really hungry for the most part throughout the day. I kind of have to remember to eat. Or I do get hungry, I get really hungry, and then by the time I take two or three bites, I'm, I'm good. So it's like, it's a weird thing <laughs> to experience. But what I do find has been the most difficult thing for me is remembering to either drink 30 minutes before I eat or eat 30 minutes before I drink. I find myself, you know, taking two or three sips of water or whatever I'm drinking, and then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to eat. And it's like, ah, I can't, I'm not supposed to do that. That's been the most difficult thing thus far. Because when I was on my liquid diet, I, they were all liquids, right? So I had no issues there. But when it comes time to like actually eat or partake in a soft food or whatever the case may be, like I have to really remind myself, yo, okay, you, you're finished this little meal or whatever. You took your three or four bites. Now you need to wait 30 minutes to drink something. Or you took two or three sips of something. Now you need to wait 30 minutes to eat. Not gonna hold you. It's quite annoying. Um, but I'm getting better and better at it as the days progress um what else i did meal prep yesterday was monday we were off for martin luther king jr day so i meal prepped some i made some salmon um and some broccoli and i ordered these nice containers which i will show you i ordered a few items off of amazon just because i'm currently in my soft food stage but i have one more week left of soft food and then i'll be back to a regular diet not regular portions but regular diet so because of that i bought some containers that i would be able to meal prep and i've never been a meal prep girl but these are so cute they have three compartments um they come with these really nice um tops i can fit two i was hoping i'd be able to fit two so i can fit two not that i would probably need two meals but i can fit two in the lunch box that came with it so this was a set it's um five of these containers they gave me one extra lid i have it over here there's an extra lid this was purchased separately on amazon this is just reusable utensils so i'll be packing this in my lunch box so i don't have to worry about bringing anything from home or trying to find anything when i'm at work because it's so hard to find a spoon or a fork in that place i don't know why but yeah and so i got the black ones they have different colors they had rose gold they had rainbow they had regular silver gold all these different but i wanted to go i wanted this to match with my water bottle and i still haven't shown you guys that water bottle i'll show it to you i'll probably insert a picture but i ordered that water bottle months before i even got a surgery date because i wanted to get into the habit of drinking water and it helped me out tremendously tremendously it's a 64 ounce bottle um which i also got off of amazon as well um i meal prepped that and you know it's not much but that's all about all i can eat it's a couple pieces of salmon and you know a couple pieces of broccoli um and i took it to work today it was pretty good i have a jug of water at work that i've been drinking i also took some coconut water but i haven't opened it yet but yeah that was pretty much it um what else when i get hungry i'm st i still had some some sugar-free jello that i snacked on today at work because i wanted a little snack and i bought some like um those little so i wanted some p3 packs because you know p3 packs have like protein right so there are some that have like turkey and ham and then the cheese and i ordered some of those this weekend from walmart but then they didn't have any of them i ordered like six of them and they had absolutely none so i have to find out where i can find some p3 packs like a reliable source because walmart is not it i don't know if they sell them at target they probably do so I have to check Target or maybe I'm just going to end up having to order them offline because I was so tight. Like I'm like, I was looking forward to those little snacks because I know they're going to fill me up and I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them pre-op. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm going to be good. Ordered six of them. None of them were available. None of them. I'm like, are you serious right yeah. now? Everything else is pretty much the same. I'm still taking my vitamins. Um, still trying to get my protein in. So I did order a recipe book and I'll insert a picture of it. And there's this recipe for a smoothie. Um, and I tried to make it, but you know what? I didn't get the exact ingredients because I just decided to use my protein shake as opposed to, I think the recipe calls for like yogurt and almond milk and um, cocoa powder. It's like a mint chocolate chip 
milkshake pretty much um and it called for i believe the protein powder like the unflavored protein powder i don't have all that i was looking at some unflavored protein powder to order from gnc but it was way too expensive so i'm probably gonna just end up ordering unflavored protein powder from amazon um or if i can find it somewhere like walmart for cheap i'll get it from there but this morning i woke up and i just blended up my regular chocolate premier protein shake with some ice i add a little bit of mint extract add a little bit of um what is it vanilla extract because the recipe does call for that too and it was good i feel like i drank it quicker than i would drink a regular protein shake just just by itself and i think that's because of the ice blending it with the ice made it a little bit lighter in consistency that it regularly is it's just the regular protein shake um and i think that helped i think prior to surgery i was okay with the thick protein shake because it was help it was helping me feel full now i don't want it to be as thick not that I don't like the, the flavor or the consistency, but I think I, I do better if the protein shade is a little bit thinned out for me. Um, and I don't know if anybody else has experienced that that has had VSG. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. <laughs> I went out last Friday with some of my coworkers. We went to Fiery Crab and I got this whole bag of like shrimp and, you know, the potatoes and the corn and the sausage and all that kind of stuff. When I tell you it took me all weekend to eat that all weekend i think i finished it yeah yeah i finished it yesterday monday so you know eating is very very slow very gradual um that's the main update for this video for my three week post op which officially will be tomorrow i'm kind of excited to move on to a regular diet once the second week is up but at the same time i'm not too hyped because i know i'm not going to eat much it's weird it's like yes i can finally have a regular meal but Ugh, am I gonna make it through the whole meal? Probably not, not likely. I did not invest in smaller um, plates and things like that and utensils. A lot of people that have VSG, as I've seen on YouTube, have invested in smaller plates and utensils. I didn't do all of that because I'm like, uh, do I really need to do all of that? I don't feel like I need to do all of that. I, I know that I just can't eat a big portion of something. So that's what I've been doing. Maybe later on down the line, I will invest in smaller plates to just help portion things for me. But for right now, I already know that I can't eat much, so I'm not, I don't need a smaller plate. I think that's everything I have for you guys for today. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I will come back when I am officially four weeks or a month post-op and let y'all know what's going on, let y'all know what's changed, if anything has changed, that you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a weigh-in. Yeah, I'll probably do a weigh-in because I have my four-week appointment. So once I get weighed at the doctor's office, I will let you guys know how much I weigh at my four-week appointment um like i said i have not been weighing myself i just didn't find I, I've, I've seen so many videos on youtube where a lot of people that have had vsg surgery are like oh my god i was obsessed with weighing myself every day and blah 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 i haven't weighed myself i don't know when the last time i weighed myself actually the last time i got on a scale i think i got on the scale the night before my surgery just to see what i weighed and I don't even remember what I saw on the scale. <laughs> I don't remember the number until I got to the hospital that morning. And when I got there that morning, I was at uh, I was at 229. So I don't really weigh myself. I'm looking forward to the non-scale victories that people talk about where it's like, okay, I notice my clothes are looser. I notice my face is smaller. I notice, you know, my stomach is smaller or whatever. I'm, I'm looking forward to those things. Because to me, that really signifies that you're losing weight. Because a lot of the times, people that have issues with their weight throughout their life um, and then have, you know, weight loss surgery or whatever the case may be, lose a, a tremendous amount of weight, there's body dysmorphia there. And so they may lose the weight. And because they're constantly weighing themselves and the number isn't changing, they think they're not losing weight. But in reality, they are. And other people notice it. They just don't notice it because they're, they're addicted to looking at this number on the scale. I don't want to become that. So I don't weigh myself. When I, like I said, I, I feel like my face is starting to get a little bit smaller. When I start to see that certain clothes are loose on me or, you know, certain things fit differently, then I'm gonna be like, all right, all right. I mean, the doctor has already told me I've lost weight. So I know for a fact that things are working, but I'm not all the way seeing them just yet. Once again, I say this all the time. I'm like, I think that's it. And then I have more stuff to say, but I really do think this is all I have for my, my three week post op. Um, VSG update. So y'all stay tuned and thank you for watching as usual.